Greetings, back to the cutting board. Um, people were interested with a little video that I did with the cloths that we were cutting. So we've got a few here, uh, came back out on our holidays and got all these things to cut. I'll pull out a few of the more interesting ones with you. Of course, they're all interesting, they're all beautiful. Um, but let's have a look. This one. Um, Stand even. Um, old merchant mill. Nice traditional English. This is quite unusual, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's very reminiscent of Reed and Taylor. And, and I remember when I was a kid at Anderson's, the Financial Times used to have an advert in the top corner of this very posh looking sheep with a big fur coat on. And it used to say, Reed and Taylor, the most exclusive suiting in the world. Um, they always had a unique look. And this is that <coughs> look. I think there is a reason for this but I don't want to get into copyright issues and upset anybody. Um, but these are really quite unique and they have that Reed and Taylor ilk to it. But that is a, it's a beautiful cloth made in England. It feels vintage. This is not, but it feels vintage. It feels, it feels, it looks like something my dad would have worn. Um, but really gorgeous. Check them out, stand even, really nice. Um, Velvet. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? <sighs> this actual coat is going to be a very posh jacket. It's basically going to be have a peak lapel, and it's it's a it's a it's not a smoking jacket. It's not a proper formal for evening wear. It's just the velvet instantly elevates something. Um, I know I've wore it myself. It just feels richer and more exclusive but that's a stunning color it's like a sort of petrol blue um, but really really fabulous so <clears throat> don't make those every day we're having a run on them velvet again look at this fella Holland and cherry same as that one isn't that breathtaking now I know, and they may be watching, this is actually for a, for a lady and her husband is having a smoking jacket as well, so he's gonna have all the details on. But well, you are, you're entertaining at home and you open the door, even better, somebody opens the door to your guests, but you turn up as the host in this. How fabulous is that? Um, nice to work on something really special luxurious and beautiful and um, you know how many people are wearing bespoke red garments not that many um, <clears throat> okay we're gonna look at this one this is a Holland and Cherry it is a timeless crisp air Holland and Cherry crisp air lightweight Breathable, quite a high twist, um, very crease resistant, and I think Chris Bear's been around for about 45, 50 years, maybe longer. Um, e e even as I have this in my hands, you can tell that's gonna make a great seal. Very classic, but that, that's gonna make a good friend. Um, Gun Club. <clears throat> W Bill, W Bill, um, part of the Harrisons of Edinburgh group, very famous for tweeds, very famous for linens, uh, isn't that terrific? This is a classic check, um, tan and blue, the blue comes across really quite nicely in there, but brown and blue is a lovely combination, I think. Um, beautiful sports coat not that heavy uh, not that heavy at all I don't know what collection that's from I'm guessing made in Bonnie Scotland okay so this is woven about an hour from here um, exclusively for W Bill 
it's a probably only about 10 11 ounce um, <clears throat> might be Phoenix can't remember the range you'll find it out if you want to know I'm gonna make sure I don't get this pile too big I'll move it out of the way because you won't see what I'm doing let's put these out the back right what else have we got uh, okay Blue suit, remember I said blues, greys, H lesser. Um, just one of my favourites. Again, part of the Harrison group, you know, Mr. Dunsford and the gang, they've kind of scooped it all up over the years. Um, classic English Navy. What weight is this fellow? Feels like they're 11, 12 amps. Made in England, especially for H. Lesser and Son. Um, this is one of those examples of the suiting that I was kind of brought up on. It's it's going to be used and chosen and picked and loved. I hope for the next fifty years. It's a navy suit by Lessers. What lays up beautifully, cuts beautifully. The owners always like it. They never can quite put the finger on why, but it, this is the sort of stuff that always ends up as my favorite suit, okay? Uh, really good. <clears throat> okay. This one, Holland and Sherry. This is quite funny now. I wish you could feel this. It's, it's a beautiful earthy brown. This is actually a trouser length. Okay, if you could feel this, it is astonishing. And here is an example why tailors don't make any money. So I met this lovely chap, and you know who you are. And he was interested in a few pairs of trousers in LA. And uh, we looked at various samples and such like, and we put together a price on these samples. And then there was a few changes. Now I'll have this, I'll have that one. And he settled with this one, and the office has put it through and it's not till I get it that I realize that this is cashmere and silver mink super 160s mustard okay what can I say very very nice and very very expensive and have we charged the extra? No, we haven't. Can we charge the extra? Probably, but we won't. We'll put it down to experience. Um, so, sir, you have something very special there. Um, but that's a, it's just beautiful. That is beautiful. Look, if you're gonna make a mistake, or if we're gonna make a mistake, nobody's gonna fall out with us for selling very well-priced trousers made out of incredibly exclusive cloth for not a lot of money. Um, this is the same chap, <coughs> Holland and Cherry. This is a cord, um, which is very reasonably priced. That is a nice cord. I don't know if you can see it. I, I've got my cords on today. I love wearing them, um, but, but I, I feel a bit like I'm down at heel. These, these are gonna be pretty swanky. Um, Look out for these, anybody in LA. When you see a guy walking around with a big smile on his face because he's got Super 160s and mink trousers on, or he's almost glowing in the dark with these beauties, you'll know where they came from, won't you? Um, another velvet. This is the other half of the other half. Gorgeous French blue, sky blue, look at that. Um, this one isn't Holland and Sherry, this is denim. Denim Brothers, stunning. What have we got here? Another stand even. This is interesting. This is a this is a high twist. This is all of the merchants these days have. Dugdale Brothers have Tropiclair. There's Fresco. Everybody knows Fresco. There's Finn Maresco. There's this. I don't even know what it's called, but I know it's stand even. And it has that same fresco texture made in England. Okay, Explorer two ply Worsted. 
So what you've got here is, is a, is a medium weight, very durable, very crease resistant cloth. Uh, these are good loyal workhorses and when they're made in the lighter weights they're extremely durable to wear. They're not to everyone's cup of tea. If you feel them, they feel dry. If you feel it in comparison to this Lessers, um, you know, it's, it doesn't feel as sophisticated, but it's durability. So you throw these balls in the air and which ones you want to catch, okay? Do you want, it, do you want to catch the, the, the stuff that impresses the ladies when they stroke your arm? Or do you want um, longevity and, and drape? So this, you know, suits, cloths should be chosen for a purpose, which is why you go to a tailor, because he's going to tell you how well it's going to do these jobs. This is a beautiful cloth. Um, it's a nice mid-light grey, stand even. Yeah, this is going to give the mileage. Okay. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? <coughs> That's an overcoat. That's a cashmere overcoat. from our friends <coughs> Harrisons of Edinburgh um, Bert's woolen cashmere overcoat beautiful we're gonna do a it, I think it's classic single breasted fly front yeah it, you only order one of these okay you order one of these and it'll last your lifetime big investment worth it as they say is quite nice who's this lessers again this is a lovely pick and pick this used to be one of my favorites when I was younger when I was younger and when I was an apprentice I used to actually get a suit um, yeah each lesser I don't know if you can see that that's a real that's a perfect pick and pick I think I think the balance on that is not too grainy um, but it just keeps lovely lovely character in it Okay, I'm not going to go through all of these. We've got Porter and Harding. Okay, um, this is a glorious 12, 11 ounce, make wonderful sports coats and less formal um, country wear. Not country wear, that's the wrong thing to say. Less formal suitings. <clears throat> so, this chap's having a suit out of that. It's a um, 11 ounce got a nice subtle check to it can you see that it's really really popular if you walk into a room with that it's gonna look like a mid gray um, but you can really dress this up or down white shirt tie black shoes fabulous no tie really useful suit um, absolutely lovely this is that suit okay yeah that's that's going to Boston um, another lessers, Mr. Dunsford, you owe me a pint or two. It's Lesser and Son made in England. This is 11, 12 ounce worsted. Just what's not to like, as they say. Can you still see me behind this fire? Um, have we got anything else of interest here? Look at this, another nice medium grey from Lessers. You're gonna think I've got shares in that company, aren't you? Here's a nice old classic. Uh, it doesn't have a tag on it, it's, it's in two pieces. But this is all wool, made in England. This is Bateman Ogden, okay? Good old Yorkshire firm. It's like a sort of torn down Prince of Wales. It's, it's a very subtle check. The detail's gorgeous, got a great handle. Um, lovely, I mean, you just know it's proper. Proper stuff, and these, it's gonna work. Um, here's a nice one. We've made this a couple of times. Might have even been on um, Instagram. It's a uh, Porter and Harding, glorious 12th, but it's such a lovely grey and a nice crisp blue check. All right, great for a coat, great for a suit. Um, what else? We've got a pinstripe. 
Praise the Lord. Somebody's still wearing pinstripes and chalk stripes. This is Dugdale Brothers. Okay. Uh, it, that, that, it is really lovely that. Okay, it's a classic dark navy with a pale blue, well, lighter blue stripe in it. But that's really, that's really lovely that. Um, yeah, I do, I do like that actually. Who's having it? Who's having it? Okay, lovely, charming fellow um, in the US. Yeah, he, he's going to be over the moon with that. Got a couple more here. Um, this is nice. This is a linen. Dugdale Brothers. This is their. This is their Lisbon linen. I think. I think that's what the range is called. And you know what, Dugdale. I do like them. That you know they're they're always good fun. There. And what they do is they they lay the cloth up down in the cellar. We did a little video on it a while back. But this is linen, and it has a it has a softness about it. It feels like it's been not over finished but it's had extra finishing and I don't know if it's the laying down in the old basement but it has a softer feel than a lot of linens but that's beautiful it's a yeah it's sort of beige it's got a bit of green to it and a nice herringbone that's going to look really nice um, what else have we got okay another lessers um, classic that one is more of a bird's eye which is nice okay um zingy nice bright blue here from Dugdale Brothers. Actually I'm quite glad I've pulled this up for you because I think this goes along oh yeah look at that I think these were professional programs. Tropiclair remember I said to you Finn Maresco Tropiclair um the these are high twists and they have a drier feel but they're really good to wear and durable that's a pretty gorgeous blue there throw my tape measure on the ground okay um oh, i'm gonna show you this one oh god you would think we made these up finn maresco that's where the conversation started a little bit didn't it i like finn maresco fresco is very popular you could probably argue more popular but I feel Finn Maresco has a nicer handle to it. Does that mean it's less durable? Maybe, I don't know. I had a blazer of this and I wore it for years. Um, and it's it's just a great cloth. Yeah, it's just it's just a super cloth. This is getting made into a blazer, which is a, is a really smart move. Um, it's got a nice bit of texture to it. It'll perform, it'll last. It's timeless, it's absolutely lovely. Um, right, I need a drink of tea. I haven't talked so much in ages. There you go, I hope that was remotely interesting. Bit of a catch up. Um, we have a trip to the US in a couple of months time, which is looking very busy. We will be contacting people who are due fittings because um, we, we need to get you in, obviously, before we get anyone else in. So um, if you have got something going through with us, feel free to drop us a note and say, you know, I need my fitting in the book, but we will be reaching out to you. Thank you so much for dropping in. Do like us, subscribe to us, and tell all your friends. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.